The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan. Uh, what was the... <laughs> what was the fucking thing that he said to the little girl? He's like... Oh, if you're when you when you when you're about seven years older, if you're ten, seven, ten years older, ten, ten years older, I would totally ask you out. Jesus fucking god! Shall we play a game? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan, the podcast that doesn't play video games or review them whatsoever. I am your gameless host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. I, I played it, just didn't beat it. <clears throat> and this week, we're not reviewing Sekiro, as you can see by the title of the episode. <laughs> we are going to give our first thoughts on the Devil May Cry anime um, we watched the first two episodes of season one. There are multiple seasons, right? Uh, no, there's only one season. To oh, this. really? Oh, yeah, well, that's that's good. Um, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll talk about our. Yeah, first... I think you're giving away your thoughts already, Schweiss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about our uh, initial impression, and then the next time we don't have, uh, or the next probably I don't know the next time we have a, a review or some downtime or some something happens where we don't do what we're supposed to do. We'll probably finish this up, um, but just kind of give you our first taste. I think this is kind of a cool idea for yeah. shows going forward. Yeah, I mean, um, we kind of started this with Castlevania, but... A little bit, yeah. Uh, this show is a lot longer than Castlevania, so we're kind yeah. of adjusting because of that. But So we'll get into that a little bit. Um, no Sekiro yet. Cameron's like over halfway, I'd say. I would say. I don't know how accurate that is because I've... It depends know. on which path he takes, because there's more bosses uh, on the way that you and I chose. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying I'm more than halfway just because of all the side bosses I've already fought? Mm, no. The amount of bosses you would have to fight if you chose the short path would be five more. So you're a little less than halfway. Okay. Uh, and that's the short path. The longer yeah. path has like... Boss-wise, yeah. Four more than that. So you'd be... like That would be like nine more bosses. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I got into rhythm yesterday and pumped out a whole bunch of uh, mini bosses and then one main boss, so... Yeah, I'm really getting into it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's all about that timing. Yep, and once you get it down, it's addicting. Yeah. Too bad this next boss you're gonna fight is gonna completely fuck the flow. You can't fuck the flow, man. <laughs> Not the flow. I know. Yeah. But it does fuck that boss. Yeah, I agree. And fuck that one mini boss. It's like in between. Snake Eyes one that's in the uh, acid pools. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty easy. Fuck, that was easy. Yeah. Fuck, that was easy. It was easy. Dude, I died to her more than I died to the actual boss. I think I died to her once. Fuck you. I died to the first one I fought a bunch of times, but She's I a learned. fucking bitch, dude. I learned... Learned her ways, her the snake fucking, eyes. I was fucking, like, "That's the worst role in in the game," and then I killed her. God, dude, the fucking like rat <laughs> thing she does, such asshole fucking traction, Tra- tra- <laughs> tracking. I mean, God, <laughs> asshole fucking, traction, fucking, dude, rib she, for my she pleasure. Grabs you with that thing, it's like a one shot kill. It's fucking brutal. Yeah. Well, 
And I had more health than you did at that point. Yeah. God, that was awful. It's not about getting health. It's about getting good, Craig. It's all about getting fucking good. Yeah. That's why you didn't beat it, because you got health. Not good. And you stopped playing it. Out of all the That's clips true. I posted yesterday, I started getting good when I didn't have the option to get health anymore. And that's when I got good and won. Exactly, Craig. You coddled there's still, yourself. There's still some dudes that you can you can get uh, stuff from. Yeah. yeah some dudes pretty, that you get some pretty, stuff I'm from. I'm pretty sure he's missing a couple of the prayer bead dudes if he's only got 14 vitality. Yeah, probably. So, lots of Sekiro, obviously, from Cameron. Uh, but, Craig, yeah. what have you played this week? What have you been up to? Uh, well, on? I just started Pokemon Shield, which is cool. Is uh, it? Is be it playing, better than Pokemon yeah, Sword? Uh, or is it the same game? I like the uh, Legendary better than the one from what Sword. What are Legendaries this time around? They're like wolves, but like one is like shield based, and the other one is like has a sword in its mouth. Did they make up? Oh, did they make up uh, these Pokemon's just for this game, or yes. did they rip off Dark Souls? Uh, it kind of seems like they're ripping off Digimon now, <laughs> with the starters being like more humanoid, which is very odd for Pokemon. There's only there's very few humanoid Pokemon. So, well, they're running out of ideas, Craig. <sighs> like they have been since the beginning. Uh, I mean, they have some. St- they still have some unique ideas, but then they just—I don't know. They they went weird with this one. Like the the themes for like. Dude, you should have gone with Pokemon Sword because you could have named your legendary Sif. <sighs> I could just get it from somebody who plays Sword. But dude, Sif. Yeah, but. I didn't like its design. He looks like a Digimon. He's got the fucking like weird wings, and he's got a sword in his mouth. Sif, I know. Sif you, had a sword you, in his you mouth. Then you you get fucking Pokemon Sword Cam Cam, and you can name your Zycian or whatever his name is fucking Sif. And I'm pretty sure it's a girl, even though it's genderless. Because but the fucking Pokédex entry for it said something about it being an older sister to the one that I picked. Oh. Which is fucking weird. I don't understand that. But so wait, wait. How is it genderless? If it's I, the it, it, because they always make the legendaries genderless, so you can't breed them. Oh, okay, okay. But that's uh, it's stupid. Why wouldn't you want them to fuck? I I want them to fuck. I want to make like the most perfect legendaries. But the game won't let you because they don't. Dude, they it don't totally let you is. Let them Seth. Fuck. Um. But yeah, I just started that. Not very far into it. I spent like an hour trying to get the, uh, the perfect Grookey. Um, Grookey? Yeah, he's he's the grass star. He's like a monkey. He's fucking awesome. He's got like a stick and he just like jabs people with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I played some Death Stranding. Which, Were you stranded? Uh, no. Well, Did actually, you die? for a little bit, I was stranded. Because my bike was destroyed in the very beginning of the game. <laughs> is um, that part of the game, or did you just... It's part of the game. Oh, did you okay. get it's death? It's like the very first cutscene. Did you get death as well? I haven't died yet, except for, like, the part except where you for die. Except did. It, well, like, there's, there's a part where he, like, dies in the story, but, like, he, he he's... Uh, what would they call that? A repatriate or something like that, where, like, you can just come back to life somehow. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Hopefully it will later. So how do you feel about it so far? God, dude, it's so weird. It's so fucking weird. Like, it, the, the, I played it for two hours, and like an hour and a half of that was cutscene. And I found out there's like nine hours and 20 minutes of cutscenes <laughs> <laughs> for this what? game. Uh, so uh, did, did he just want? Did Kojima just want to make a movie, but he forgot how to? Like he doesn't know how to make a movie, so he made a video game. Dude, instead. He, he is obsessed with movies, so yes, I'm convinced because like he he, he does so, that now, or he has since like what uh, Metal Gear Four. He's like had the obsession where like a third of his game has to be cutscene. Nah, I don't know. 
Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4, two Guinness Book World Records for longest, uh, I think, cutscenes. Yeah, dude. I, like Longest cutscene sequence in a game, 71 minutes. Oh, longest cutscene in a video game, 27 minutes. Can you minutes. skip it? No, I don't think you can. I think you can. That's insane. But why would you skip it? I mean... Because I wanted to play a video game, not watch a terrible movie. <laughs> Over eight hours of cutscene. That game's not that long either. This no, game's yeah, longer. That, that was like, what, four hours or something that I was told? It was like without the cutscenes? Uh, I don't know if it's that short, but I. I don't know exactly how long it's The last to be, cutscene but... in the thing is a movie length. It's, it's 70 minutes. It tells you, too. It's like, do you. Are you sure you have enough time for this? Do you have work or any other plans for the rest of your day? No? Okay, then here you go. It's cutscene. <laughs> Sit back. The it's ultimate cutscene. Yeah, there's like a fucking interlude. Did you watch it? No, I never beat four. I, oh, I stopped playing it. It's really fun, but I just I don't know why. I stopped what happens it. if they take the link down to the cutscene? What do you mean the link? Because they're hosting it online somewhere, right? No, no, it's in the game. It's part of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in game. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Death Stranding is all only getting weirder. Uh, is I, it o- a, I only have more questions. Are you having fun playing the game? No. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. I've only played it for a short amount of time. I have not formed an, a, a true opinion of the game yet. But like, I I don't. I'm already foreseeing not having fun <laughs> <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> for a very long time. For forty to sixty hours at least. Jesus. Um, because like it has this weird like weight distribution mechanic. Cameron's eyes just lit up. <laughs> and like you have to, you have <laughs> basically uh, from what I've been told, it's just like nothing but fetch quests, and so you have to like stack all these things on your backpack. And you have to, like, if you move too far to the right, then you're, like, your weight will shift and you have to, like, correct yourself with, like, the R2 or L2 buttons. Or you can, like, be, try to be stabilized by holding them down, like, the whole time that you're fucking walking and trekking from one place to another. I saw one fight in the game someone streamed. And it was like every time he got hit, his fucking stuff would fall off the top of his pack. And so he would retaliate and then quickly try to pick all of his stuff back up to then get hit again. And the stuff flies everywhere. He has to quickly pick it all back yeah, up and then retaliate. The stuff- and then, d- 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 no, I just, d- that does not look like riveting gameplay. The the stuff it looks ridiculous. The stuff when it hits the ground, it takes damage, and you're supposed to try and deliver the stuff without having it be damaged. And the rain will damage it because I guess the rain rain is time. It fast forwards whatever it touches through time, so like people can be super aged really quickly. And then if they die, they turn into some like zombie ghost it's fucking weird and i only have more questions after playing it for two hours i just think it's really weird seeing so I, that's that's all i'm gonna be playing tomorrow i'm gonna stream it just, i just think it's weird so seeing del toro knows. uh norman Reedus, and fucking uh mads mickelson like hanging out oh there's more people in there i think like conan o'brien is in there i think like fucking serious uh the hey what's guys. his name? Um, <laughs> what about Jay Leno? Yeah, it's I, don't, I don't know if he's in there, but uh, yeah, he's fucking a little baby. A little Edgar baby Wright guitar. is in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, we need Jay Leno in that game, dude. I think it has or just like a bunch of random actors <laughs> and like other people in there yeah, just for funsies. <laughs> and then then there's like the product placement of like a shitload of monster. Like the healing potion in that game is just fucking monster. I didn't even realize that until like uh, I like fell off a hill and I lost some health. So I'd like drank the health potion because it was telling me I had to. And then it was Did like you crush the can. And then I forehead. got back to the base, and then it was like your monster energy has been refilled. And I was like, "Monster energy is that literally what I've been drink- like? What I fucking drank? Is this what I'm drinking out there? It's like that's fucking a healing potion, caffeinated sugar. Apparently, if you like fucking fall off a cliff and you have a concussion, if you drink a monster energy, you'll be fine. 
Man, it's. I I hope there's like a. It turns into the cup doodle thing with FIFA 15, where like you get a yeah. costume where you're oh, everyone's man. wearing like you're just wearing energy. like a fucking all like your yeah you got like costume. all your <laughs> just your, your fucking... face poking out. You know, little stubs you like. Well, you underneath. get like different colored yeah. jumpsuits. So, like, one of your jumpsuits is like a monster themed one. That'd be fucking it, hilarious. See, I was about to ask if it actually was. I would not be surprised. Yeah, it's no. not. Or but, is it? Yeah, the, it, it just seemed. I don't know. It seems kind of weird so far. All right. I mean, it's supposed to be weird, so. The baby is very weird. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the the Do you always the, have the, the cut baby? scene uh, after, or is the baby given to you? You get the baby after it like fucks you over. <laughs> <laughs> so like How the, does baby, the baby. Okay, fuck? so the you, you, you guys are gonna play it eventually. I guess, no, but the the baby. I don't know what you're talking about. The guy. Uh, the, there's this one guy. He has the baby before you, and the, you use the babies and hook them up to like some arm scanner thing which allows you to see the zombie ghosts and the zombie ghosts will like hunt people down i don't know how um and then the baby like didn't work it didn't let anybody see the zombie ghosts so they're like oh yeah we're just gonna get rid of it uh, like after the other two guys died, and you bring it back, they're like, "Yeah, it, it didn't work, so we're just gonna we're just gonna burn it." The baby, yeah. But then the baby oh. develops a bond with you, and then it works because your guy has superpowers. I don't understand the powers in this game. What powers does he have? I don't know. How do they, they call it they call it dooms, plan? but I have no idea what the fuck dooms is. And then he's also a, he's got a, the dooms. a repatriate or whatever the fuck they call that thing, where he like just revives if he dies. I, I, I don't understand anything yet. So hopefully, I do by the time that I beat the game. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> you can you can tell us all about it. Yeah. Hopefully I don't question everything. It sounds like the game itself isn't answering the questions that that occurred when the trailer came out. Dude, I reached the cutscene that was in the trailer where, like, you see the, the baby, like, in your throat, and then he, like, does the thumb up. I saw that. It was really weird. That was in his throat? Yeah, he was, he was like, fucking dreaming and he has like a weird dream connection to the baby where he's like seeing the baby's memories and then also dreaming weird shit and i i literally do not get anything that's happening in the game does the baby age at all i don't think so no i think they all stay babies forever hmm i wonder if that's symbolic we'll have to find out yeah yeah we will Next time on Craig Plays. <laughs> yeah, fucking the two hours of Death Strand that I didn't understand. And then, of course, Conan Exiles. Oh, yeah, so goes the Exiled Lands. <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> We've been capturing thralls and yeah. developing a base. We're Splendid. In the, in the north. Yeah. Very strong in the north. We even built an the elevator. The north. Yeah. We got the wall. The north is always a hard place. Critters of hard men and thralls. That's right. We're we're really dominating up there. We got I got a greater wheel of pain going. We've got taskmasters on it, slapping that that ass, keeping them in line. Yeah, dude. I I, we're even defending it against the purge. Like fucking, I was afraid Schweiss was gonna die, so I placed a boar literally right on top of him. You do realize the purge happens when you're (laughs) offline as well. Yeah, it's going on right now. <laughs> Say goodbye to your base in the north. Well, it's every day, isn't it? No. I think you have it set so it's only on the weekends. Oh. You think they'll fuck us that hard? Depending on what level, yes. I don't think so. I think we're on a lower difficulty. Well, they it progresses in difficulty the as last time, time goes Because last time that Schweiss and I had uh, the purge... It only sent, like, two guys against us, and then it was over. As the purge goes on, it gets harder. Good. So, hopefully... It's- I, I did go back to noob camp, and there were a couple walls that were missing, and I was like, yeah. what the fuck happened? I guess that's what happened. Um, also, so- bases decay over time if you don't have enough mats around. Mats? Materials. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, well, we can get. But those uh, you need hammers. you need to go repair your walls and make sure everything's repaired or it decays over time as huh. well. Mm-hmm. So, wow. I guess we're gonna have to build some higher tier bases, or we finish it in three months and and retire, or we just do PvP instead. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, we'd have to have enough people for that. Three on a uh, free for all with us three isn't a bad idea. <laughs> uh, what if we did another game with no resource gain, but it was PvP, and no one would play but us? No Wait, resource gain. What are you talking about? Like no resource gain. Base resource gain. Okay, that would be fine. But it would have to be kind of like Hunger Games type of thing, where Wait, so we we're always fighting bases? over like. No, no, we do. We do build base. You build whatever you want, right? But it's a PvP thing. Um, but we don't up how fast we can gain resources, and so getting raided and losing stuff really fucking hurts. I like that. And then what we could do is we could have tournaments and fights and stuff, where the winner gets a chest full of like a ton of material of just whatever. Yeah, I just want to like, I just want to wait in the night and like go and just fucking find some huge vantage point and just scout Craig. Just like <laughs> wait for a torch to to blaze up in some distant spot and like mark it down on the map. Yeah, I just fucking Dude, start I don't, shooting. I don't arrows. fucking travel at night with a torch. You kidding me, ah, Craig? Oh man, oh, don't you want to scout man. Craig? Isn't that like the most dude? Three or four of us all in one map, all alone. Yeah. Dude, that would be both good and like both hard to find. It would be hard for you guys to even think of where I'd put my base. Dude, but we could, we could there put- are certain locations you can just wait at and it guaranteed someone's going to come by at some point. Just yeah. because of how the maps are and where the resources are. That's true. <laughs> oh, man could also build the coliseum like right in the okay middle. so one thing we can do to lessen the grind and just get us into the game is um uh the admin can can make you automatically level 60 and then give you a starting base of tools so you don't have to grind through the first levels of the game and then now it's up to you to build your base and start grinding out resources for building weapons and stuff and other actual things yeah i think that'd be a great way to start it out and just be about PvP. Yeah, I could see that being kind of good. And that way it's like if you jump in later, it's not a big deal. Right. It's not as exactly. big a deal. Right. And that's another thing. Because you can have a max. I've max already character. I've already done the grind from 0 to 60 like three times. I don't want to do it again. Well, you didn't do it legitimately. Yes, though, I have. You? I have done it legitimately. How? At least two times. How? How have you had time for this? Like, dude, you forgot yeah, how dude, we played much it for a time long fucking time. We spent on that fucking game. I have a giveaway idea. Cam Cam and I played it for at least two months while you were doing other stuff. And so here's the giveaway: it's we buy, we get the show to buy like an ultimate power edition of Conan Exiles, and we give it to the person who most accurately guesses the amount of hours each of us has spent on the game. Because you know how PlayStation sends us that like year and in, in gaming, we'll like, <laughs> like have them guess. Oh shit! And whoever has the closest guess gets like the Conan Exiles <laughs> Ultimate Edition. You know how long it took me to build that fucking castle? You said it was eight hours with all the cheats and everything turned max up. That's an eight-hour excursion. That's just gone. It's just gone now. It's oh yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Fucking nothing. You have your server, yeah, yeah. Was that on mine? No, nah, it was on our server. Yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's all gone. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Interesting. Well, that, <laughs> he's got the evidence of it. We took pictures and dude, he's got a video. video. Yeah. Oh yeah, but the video is actually old. I changed a few things since then too, especially like the entrance and the walk up to it. Okay, dude. Oh man. I had like the you know, the ground area of where you approach it from. Just it was a fortress down at the fucking foot of my fortress. I built like two fortresses. Nice. And the one was just to protect the fucking walkway up to the long ass elevator ride to the first tower that then took you to the second tower, which then took you to the third tower, which then took you to the gatehouse with two fucking drawbridges. 
to then get into the the gated area. Yeah. Nice. And if you could set it up like with thralls all the way up there, oh, like yeah, no dude, one could did. get it. It's fucking archers and the whole way over that had clear access to anyone coming up the stairway. There is no way Didn't you could you give your archers like explosive arrows too. A few of them, but yeah, yeah. It's like Poison Craig, arrows are great. Though. Craig impregnate me. You just like get your your good. No, 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 no seriously. There was I do know Drown. exactly <laughs> how I would have invaded my base, and it would have been hard, but okay. Yeah, one man. I mean, you'd have to have, like, a shitload of uh, endurance. It's the only way. Apparently there's items in the game that would have made it super easy. To yeah, do there's, it. like... Climbing gear? Th- yeah. No, there's, well, like, just not boots even that, but like, that make it so that you only lose, like... It's made for walking. I think it's you, you lose half of your uh, your stamina that you would normally for climbing. Oh, so you can climbing, climb even longer. Climbing, I got climbing gloves in my game. I found them on a dead body. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I don't know how the fuck they made them, but, you know, it's these savages in the wild I killed. <sighs> yeah. And then I made it to where, like, a couple miles out, you couldn't build anything to build up to my base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you would put foundations I would down. just hide foundations everywhere. So there's no fucking building close to it. So no one could siege it. Mm-hmm. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it was brutal, dude. When I went and looked at it, I was like, there's no way. Because I saw Craig building his base. I'm like, eh, I guess it's all right. I'm going to go I build something. I was just making a house with, like, fucking walls <laughs> surrounding it. And Cam no, he, like, he was I'm going to make the most unassailable place on the planet. <laughs> and then I had Craig fly he over. Build, he builds like, in this fucking, fuck like... Cam, Cam, is what he, he builds, said. He builds in this fucking, like, nook in the mountains, <laughs> or, like, in this snow area where you'd have to have, like intensely heavy armor that's also really protective against the cold and then you'd have to like have a shitload of stamina to even be able to climb up the back way which is the only possible way you could assail it without having to go through this bullshit amount of stuff to get to this elevator that would take you like five minutes while being shot at by like 50 (laughs) archers and then you go through this like walkway where you'd have to assail the fucking gates if he doesn't fucking open them and gates have a fuckload of a health da- like to take down and then they had the fucking like boiling pitch things like on top of it those so are you just for just, luck you can't really so, use only well, you can like, use them so i mean you could put stuff in it. yeah but only you can use it your thralls can't use it yeah, so yeah, he'd have to true. be there defending yeah. his wall which but is like dangerous. if he was there then yeah he would fuck you over with just that because you can't just take down the fucking <sighs> i thought of that gates. too and then, and then as soon as you get in there there's like a wide open space of just like an army of thralls and then there's like the entire castle which has like thralls <laughs> on like every goddamn floor how many so going inside my castle like and then it's a fucking maze inside <laughs> it's not a maze but yeah i mean like, it's like the, tight as fuck he like has no open areas it except was only one. like it was like one fucking floor and then the yeah. ceiling so yeah, if you have like a, a tall castle. guy your fucking feet and head are touching both things but like a castle should be though but except for the throne no, room. I, you gotta have big open space rooms. except for the th- throne room yeah, yeah. So going you, going you through all like my rooms, on that like one. like so, what what happened is I had one main tower in the back of the castle, and that was where the stairwell was. So you go back, so you first come into my antechamber, like the first open room, go past another set of doors, and that takes you into my kitchen area where you had all the kitchen stuff. Then you go back one room into the tower. The next level up was was I think uh, storage for stuff. Next one up was uh, my bedroom, which of course my bedroom is nice, wide and open, has two floors and a whole basement for holding stuff in, in, in it and another bedroom off to the side Dude. and then you go up one floor to my great uh to my grand hall which is just this big wide open hall with torches and my throne and stuff like that the only way that castle wouldn't feel cramped is if you're a midget <laughs> my character was extremely short yeah so. that's true 
Yeah, it's making up for it with all well, this Well, he had big hole. tits, and he was like a really short chick, and so basically his boobs were like a third of his body. <laughs> nice. That's not that big. That's the proper proportion of a woman right there. <laughs> of a fertility goddess, maybe. Yeah. Um, but I, I felt the design was, was fantastic, and that th- throne room was pretty cool. Yeah. I this, only wish the... there was glass in Conan, so I could have made a window. There is glass. He can make glass, but he can't make windows. Yeah, yeah. the glass is for like the the orbs and yeah. stuff bottles. Like that. Yeah, which too bad you don't have, can't do like stainless glass. Like this huge cathedral. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be fucking sweet. Yeah. See, if I get back into Conan, I'm gonna want to build stuff again. And not just like Joe who just builds a fucking like phallic tower. tower. Dude, you know what? It's beginning materials. There's no, there's no end. Yeah, there's no limit. Because of Unreal, Unreal Engine 4, apparently, it uh-huh. like only renders what you can see. Right. So you can build a tower that never ends. Ever. Ever. It's infinite. Yeah. There's a guy who claimed <laughs> to get to like a million and it took him like 15 minutes to fall. <laughs> yeah, just, and Joe and I so were on dumb. the other day, and we were like, I was like talking to him. Oh, and I was dude. like, dude, I, I told him we should make a movie about it. And uh, I said, what we would do is like, us, we'd all be in a bar talking about like Conan Exiles. And they're like, oh man, you know, I just started my tower to the sky. I'm like, oh, how many floors up can you go? And he's like, I don't know. Uh, I haven't found out yet. And then like some old codger like comes from the corner of the room, and he's got like a fucking patch eye and like a, a peg leg. And he's like, I. Right talking about the exiled lands are you <laughs> you're like yeah yeah you you play and he's like i yes i w- i too dreamed of a tower to the sky <laughs> one million floors i made <laughs> couldn't bear to do a million and one <laughs> and that's when i jumped <laughs> came to be as you see me now <laughs> like it's so fucking funny. I was just like dying and laughing. Because like, like, it's fucking like, yeah, he found some guy that said he had a million and it took him like, it was like 30 minutes to fall. Can, no, can you imagine though? Can you imagine <laughs> Joe on his journey up of, you know, it takes him 10 minutes to get to the fucking top of his tower with materials to keep going. And then down below, we're just fucking bombing the shit out of it until it's all of its foundations are gone and disappearing, right? And then it takes like a fucking five minutes for the Could tower to collapse how all the to long jump. the elevator ride for that would be there's a there's a max length so it won't go all the way up there's a max length for the elevator yeah no. it's pretty fucking high though on that mountainside that you guys did last time that we did again <laughs> it's like riding the wall riding up the wall in game yeah. of thrones on that shitty little slow ass elevator see this is why i want to play on the pc there's some mods that are for just making your life better not for changing the game like the elevators will go faster um you can you know pl- object placements better and stuff like that not to fuck up the game but just to make some of the game mechanics make more sense okay so pc would be a great way to go yeah yeah I have to platinum it first before i consider <laughs> pc <laughs> Platinum at nat- all natural, even the even the elephant one. I'm just in five years from now, you're still going to be talking about Conan Exiles and not platinuming it. Yeah, I think I can make it. All we have to do is beat all the bosses and get to level sixty. I'm already level f- fifty three. I mean, I fucking put the time in this time around. But yeah, I think we should do that as a contest uh, when we get our PlayStation stats in. Uh, whoever guesses the closest number for each host. We'll get a, a, a whatever the best edition of Conan Exiles that is available on the market. Did you buy the year two expansion twice? Yeah. Is that what you got for the DLC? I got year one, year There's, two, and all the additional ones that weren't part of those two. The Riddle of Steel? Yeah. There's one more coming out that's part of that year two expansion. Oh, so I'll get it? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I think it's like the Raiders of Hyboria, so hopefully it has something to do with capturing thralls. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to... Did you buy the DLCs? I did, yeah. Nice. I got one of them. They're on sale right now. It's oh. pretty much the only reason. I spent like 70 bucks, dude. <laughs> for It's like 40 bucks for both year one and year two. And I spent uh, a lot more than that on the server. So... Join us. 
Yeah. Nude Clan Exiles. Play, Password is play in the, the Play the code and see why we talk about it every fucking week. Yeah. Not everyone's like us, though. They don't get addicted to fucking this type of grind. Trash. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's more, it's more like for the... I play it for the, the co-op experience, for the playing it with you guys kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So after I built my castle, I, Craig started doing a big old build out in the desert, and I fly out that way. I'm like, the fuck is this Craig? He just built a fucking giant building, fucking box. I wanted, on top yeah. Of the I, 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 <laughs> it's like, it was like. I, I wanted to build a fucking giant box on top of a fucking uh, pillar. <laughs> and he did. So I, it was. <laughs> I this used, is so I did. I used, I used the pillar as as the base, and then I and built then he, a and giant then, fucking and then cube he around became, it. He became dissatisfied with said <laughs> box I was, and left in the desert. It, it, <laughs> the building limitations forced me the building limit. to abandon it. I'm like, it. Craig, add a curve or two. <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. laughs> All these jacked lines and fucking... I, it, it wasn't my fault. It was the fucking game. Like, it wouldn't connect the fucking... Dude! I tried to... It, I built, like... Uh, there were two pillars out in the desert. They were fairly close to each other. So I started building on one, and I wanted to build, like, uh, a like a gate walkway place to the other one and it wouldn't fucking connect with like the with foundations or with the like the ceiling tiles mm. so i had to fucking build like another set of fucking foundations and ceiling tiles to try and connect them and i just didn't fucking get it the get it right so i was like you know what fuck it and then i put a, like an elevator that was weird shaped on there yeah, I feel like I feel like Craig just doesn't have the creative mind to to do. I mean, he is an artist at heart. You'd think. Yeah. I care more about the inside than I do about the outside. Oh, at least in the Conan lands, because <laughs> like fuck, fuck the. Uh, I hate building in that game. To be honest, I fucking hate it. If. It bothers me so much. It does, but there's ways to get around it. But listening to Greg play that game is just dude. Funny. Like he he was he was there when I was building it, and he like wouldn't fucking let me place foundations for some reason. Yeah, I had to like destroy that. one that was like right next to it. It'll and do that. then place it, and then it was fine. Yeah, sometimes like, that's, it, it, there's it like does a that. bug that's literally like, hey, just destroy the thing that's right next. to I it. I mean, and then you can place the fucking. I thing. mean, I had the I had and the same it, fucking it made bug. Me do but that. Every time it did it to Craig, he'd fucking ex. Explode. It's because it's <laughs> bullshit. I shouldn't have to fucking destroy half of my thing just to satisfy the game's needs. All right. No, you don't. I have am to not the game's it, lover. It is mine. So another thing. You all right. Done, it you is my done, thrall. Craig, another thing you could have done instead You're of wrong. having to, to delete the object <laughs> is you can you can just switch to another building material then switch back and it fixes it. Fuck that. The uh, fuck that noise. The whole game is a uh, fuck no, everything about it. The whole game is allegory for the the wheel of pain. That's no, what I it is. It's I all don't think it is. the game. It's is all a the wheel. wheel of pain. I think once you exit the exiled lands at the end of the game, you'll get a cutscene where like your guy just like Dies. leaves. No, he leaves, and then like it pans the camera, and he just goes up to the wheel of pain and starts pushing it, and then you get credits. <laughs> like, that's how this game ends. That is uh, end game. I'm- fairly certain that's not how it ends that should be how it ends um i'll be very disappointed if that's not exactly how it ends i mean that's what the the whole game's been building up to my opinion i don't think it is is that this is all wheel of pain the wheel is all there is If that's what it was then like he would have started on the wheel of pain and conan would have freed him from the wheel of pain not not the crucifixion he was on the wheel before he was crucified conan was but not your character your yeah. character was just crucified. Oh, the game's about... If it was an allegory for the Wheel of Pain, that's how they should have started it. Your character is on the Wheel of Pain, and then it ends by getting back on the Wheel of Pain. Well, I think it's about Conan. You're yeah, just But it's not, it's not even about Conan. He's like a third-party character. <sighs> is he, though? He's, he's just there. He's like, yeah, dude, I saw this chick who uh, who convinced me to free you. And uh, you should go find out what happened to her. And then that's the fucking story. That's the story of Conan Exiles. It's like, you go find out what happened to this chick that he saved before you. 
you're supposed to go find out what happened while also exploring the exact lands to free yourself. It's the wheel. It's not the wheel. It's the wheel, Craig. It's not the wheel. It's, it's the wheel. literally just you, getting it's the, away it's, from it's, the exact lands. Dude, I even built a fucking chapel for my god in my little uh, castle area. You, you had set, right? So I have set, and he was up at top, but I, had, I also had a pit of yog. Because I was doing that as well. Uh, yeah. And I built a fucking chapel to the Pit of Yog. Dude, fucking turning into the gods in that game is super weird. Except they took it away from like mainstream like public servers. You can't do it. What? Why? They show that shit in the trailer. Right, but it's broken right now, so... Of course it's broken. You're turning into a god. And it takes like a shitload to get one of those emblems. Unless you, like, fucking cheese it and just spawn those like we did. Which is fucking awesome. Spoilers, Jesus. I don't even know about that. You can turn it to the god twice. Yeah, I, I can. I caught that. <laughs> you have to be really dedicated to, like, one specific god. And then you can, like, make an emblem thing, which you can use as an item, which will summon the god for you to control. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. We could do that on our server, I bet. Yeah, yeah, we could, pro- do we could we probably do it on our server, yeah. I think you have to turn that option on. Or it might already be on. I can't remember. It was already on on mine, so I don't know. Cameron, will you join us after you finish Sekiro? I have to play uh, Uncharted right after that. Yeah, you do. That's gonna, That should have been, like, this week. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Or next. Fucking. You gotta play that too, Schweiss. I know. Yeah, I'm waiting for Cameron. After Cameron does it, I'll play it. You should just buy it. You still, no, that's okay. You still got fucking two games to play on that collection. Yeah, that's fine. And it's only like 20 bucks. That's all right. I can wait. You're disgusting. I've got time. It's a gift. It's a gift. I'm going to play it. I'm going to use the gift. I'm going to utilize it, Craig. Utilize it just like I utilize urinals. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you utilize urinals. I think you worship them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's my god. My tokens for that are the little like urinal cakes. Every time I use one, I earn it. Fucking like carve a urinal cake like a like some kind of fucking offering. Yeah. I just, every time I use one, I toss a urinal cake in. <laughs> just like this fume. These like it's like purple cloud bursts forth from the <laughs> urinal and like you got like a fucking uh so, a wheel of pain full of like priests of uh, of urinal yeah you urine can, and the, then you build like a shrine to the urinal priest of piss <laughs> yeah pretty sweet all right so you played some code and exiles yeah it's great uh, cam cam just like you wrote. yeah just like you sweet <sighs> all right this week i installed a game but I didn't play it I'm Death Stranding yeah I bought it um, I pre-ordered the Steelbook I haven't really picked it I haven't started it yet I've gotten ready to start it <sighs> oh, excuse me and I thought about starting it when Craig was going to jump on yesterday because <clears throat> he said he was going to play Death Stranding instead of Conan Exiles yeah I- I've said that and then uh, Conan. So and mostly yeah. it was because you were on. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I was on until you were gone, and then I was going to play Death Stranding when you were playing it. But then you jumped on Conan, and I was like, "Well, I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't play Death Stranding now because <laughs> Greg's here on Conan. Like it's rude." And so we played Conan Exiles. I played a lot of that this week. Like, I, it's it's a lot. I mean, I'm up to like level fifty three. Um, it's starting to take some time to level up, but I'm finding new areas and like the, the zombie skeleton blue guys up in the North are pretty good for leveling. Yeah. And I've gone there a couple, uh, we did a big you know, long trip. The first time playing through the game, part of what captured our wonder was how large the map was and us, us discovering things like actually feeling like oh dude i fucking found this over here and then like the excitement for finding out what was over the hill and into the horizon was and there. far away but uh yes now 
hard to know where everything is. There's no discovery. There's only production and streamlining. Things. That's exciting and too, Zool. though. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's 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 better when you're exploring it the first time and you're like, wow, this is so many cool things you can do. But now it's like we know all those things. Yeah, I know where a good chunk of the bosses are naturally. Um, but yeah. Yeah. You need to spend more time in the uh, unnamed city. I went back there and it was horrible. Uh, Demon blood is there's a There's a fisherman necessary. guy in... Uh, the the town where Conan is. If you like, make him a thrall. He's like a named cook. Oh, nice! I already have a named cook, though. Um, you have a named cook. Yeah. Demon blood is super necessary, and the easiest place to grind it is uh, the baby dragons in the unnamed city. Oh, okay. Um, I got demon. They're blood. super easy to fight. Oh, are they? I'm yeah, I mean, if you get of... caught by their attack, you die, but they're, it's fucking Conan <laughs> Egg's house trash game. It's super easy to fuck it over it's and not get it. hit by it. Yeah. yeah. Just bring them up to a it's slight incline. It's basically like the crocodiles where they, like, snap at you. So they, you like they blow do- fire, you, too. Yeah, if you dodge to the side, though. Like, but uh, So if you bring yeah. them over to, like, a slight or major incline, their attacks just go into the fucking side of the hill instead of you. Because you're slightly and above you them or below them. you can just use a spear to, like, attack directly Just cause down. bleed attacks and just keep them bleeding and then you're good. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking lame. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is, It's though. Conan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I've i been exploring. I've, I've gotten a lot of it done. Um, just kind of gathering resources, getting steel. Um, but you need stone. to do that. You need to turn on building damage and when Joe's all at the top of his tower, fucking demolish it. I think he uninstalled the game again because oh. he spent like four hours just building a tower and then he found out that it's unlimited and he lost hope. He lost faith. <laughs> oh, he, was, he said he had, he had to, one goal he was working for, which is to reach the top of the map. Yeah. And he was getting excited when he was building more and more and he still hadn't reached it. Yeah. And then he discovered there was no top of the map. And so what was the point? Yeah, I How told him. How many did he even have? It only looked like a like a hundred something. Yeah, it was like that. I told him it was Schrodinger's tower. Like it's only, it's only, it only doesn't have a, it only doesn't end if he looks up online whether or not it ends. <laughs> <laughs> so like he's the one that, that made it have an, a finite amount of floors, even though it's totally in religion for Mm-hmm. Like if he would have just kept building, he would never know until he, you know, never reach the top. Until he never reached the top, but like maybe you just it's just one more floor. You never know until you keep going. That's the whole like Ahab guy that we found in the bar <laughs> telling us that like he had to jump because it was he couldn't do a million and one floors. It was too much. It was too much for him. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Um I, I wish there were more people online when I got to play, though. Yeah. Most people are, like, at work or, you know. Yep. Doing that. But hopefully we can try to f- carve out some time yeah. to play together when, when we actually get the chance to. That'll be fun. I mean, Craig and I get to. Is there a max limit to the pillars? What do you mean? Because you can, like, stick a pillar in, like, the middle of a... a spot. Is there, like, a max limit to those? Like, how, many how many pillars many you can, can stack? stack? Yeah. No. It's so all it's about stability. Like floors. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you should have done then. You're going to build your shitty box on top of an un- um, almost unlimited pillar stack. <laughs> <laughs> no. Truly the, impregnable. It's, it's like in the middle of, uh, uh, of one of the foundations. So you can't like build a staircase around it or anything. It just holds stuff up. Hmm. Oh, I guess if you built enough foundations out, no one would be able to build on top of it to, like, go raid your shit. It would just look ridiculous, like a tiny stick with, like, a huge-ass building full of goodies. Yeah. Of course, you open it up, and it's just full of death. <laughs> like, there's, like, a <laughs> boss in there. It's captured the scorpion guy, and you just built this I mean, this you fucking... can do that. Yeah, you can, <laughs> technically. <laughs> so... <laughs> Reminds me of the time I uh, spawned a boss spider within Craig's base. Oh yeah, I kept like <laughs> when I when I 
started the game back up, I like heard the sounds of it moving around. I was like, "What the fuck?" And then all of a sudden, I saw a leg sticking through the fucking like ceiling, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" So I go and open up the door of like the huge room that it's in, and I was like, "Oh my god!" It can't even like move around. It's like just shifting. It's like sticking through the floor because it can't fit inside the building. Nice. So I had to like just kill it to like end its, uh, eh, you know, to give it mercy. It's confined to misery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty good, Cameron. <laughs> it like couldn't possibly hurt me, and it couldn't uh, even attack the thralls. No, there that were, were times there. it almost fucking glitched outside of yeah, the base. Yeah, it, it was like glitching a shitload. So it was like sliding out, but then it would like rip itself back into my house. Until, like, I fucking killed it. And, like, building damage was on at one point, and I spawned in there and started attacking the fuck out of your walls. I'm like, shit! Hurry, <laughs> turn off! I had to hurry and turn, fucking turn, turn off building damage, and then it stopped. And your thrall stopped streaming in to go fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Defend the fatherland. <laughs> it would have destroyed your base and all of your thralls. <laughs> That's all right. I would have rebuilt. Oh man, I'm like Craig's gets so mad just like the time I, just, I stopped his stream. I just, yeah, it made me laugh though. It was like, what uh, the fuck is happening? Why? Why is there a giant spider in here? I was like, Cam, did you fucking spawn a spider in my house? Not just any spider. Yeah, yeah, it was like spider. it was like yeah, it was the boss spider that you, you could find in like the forest area. Like yeah, he's the, in the, three th- spots. The the three uh, was it the three skull one. Yeah, it was a big one. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. Yeah. That's it for Exiled Lands talk. Um, That's it. That's it from the Exiled Lands. Talk to you guys next time. And uh, <laughs> till then, keep pushing that wheel. That's right. <laughs> Push on. Keep on, keep on keeping up on the wheel. That's all you can do on the wheel. That's all, all there is. Remember, life is just one large slave wheel, and all you can do is keep on pushing it until you love it. <laughs> so right. see you guys next time. See you then. <laughs> just fucking with you, obviously. You should have played the exit music. That would have been really, <laughs> yeah. really pissed off. It, well, we should have had, like, oh. Like, what if we had, like, a special, like, exiting music just for Conan Exiles podcast, too? It was just that da 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 boom 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 da And then, <laughs> then it's just us three doing, like, I don't know, some, like... I, I want to... What's the music that it plays when you die? That's what we should have put in. Uh... <sighs> I don't know. It doesn't. End. It doesn't play it <laughs> the most fucking times. sobs and whimpers from a dude on the wheel. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That should be our exit music with like a sweet riff behind it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. So that's it for what we've been playing this week. The real question, the important question, the question we all know the answer to. Anybody be the game this week? <laughs> Nope. No. Nada. Nada. So, no update to the hog. Guys, get your hog in, though. Um, Because that still matters. We just haven't beaten the game in a little bit. Let's talk about the show. Craig, why the fuck would you have us watch this? Yeah, why did you suggest it? (laughs) Cam Cam was like, what should we do? What (laughs) should we do? The guy who was supposed to have the idea. And I was like... I just asked if if you had any We could watch a movie or do, like, the Devil May Cry anime. Because, like, like, we could do, like, a show. We've done a review on fucking fucking Castlevania, which is an anime, and I quite enjoyed it, and it was good. I'm like, yeah, Devil May Cry, let's give it a chance. It's a game, video game we've all played. You didn't tell us what was in store. Well, you know what? I was mostly preparing you for when Devil May Cry gets a reboot anime by that same guy who does Castlevania. Okay. So this is like prep. We're prepping for that. How many times have you watched it? Uh, This will be my second time. Second and a half time. Okay. I watched it again like a few years ago, at least like halfway, and I was like, yeah. Nah. All right, so Devil May Cry, Dante, fucking taking jobs as slaying demons in the most boring way possible. <laughs> you fucking love it. 
Okay. Don't deny it. I know you do. You loved every part of it. So how does the first episode start out? How does how does this, ep- this pilot, I guess, the first episode of the season, ca- capture its audience and ca- keep them captivated? <laughs> well, it starts in a bar where Dante orders a strawberry sundae, and some guy laughs at him, and he turns out to be a demon, and uh, Dante shoots him. In and the he most kills, dramatic way, and he possible. kills everybody in the bar. One thing about the art, and then he style. shoots like the bartender in the face and says "bingo," and then title "Devil May Cry." One thing I found out right away is I knew immediately this is going to be an overly dramatic lone edge lord anime. <laughs> That's and, exactly what it is, and uh, the art style. I don't have anything in particular i don't like it's just the action scenes i guess to minimize the amount of work they have to do for the action scenes they zoom it up so fucking close to the action that all you're getting are like sword slashes every now and then spurts of blood and maybe like half a face and then gunshots and that's your action scenes you don't actually see like the fight you see like if someone took it like you're basically seeing the results (laughs) You're not seeing the fight happen. And so, like, an overly dramatic edgelord anime, and, all, and the fights happen all the time, but you never see them. That's true. Yeah, it's usually just kind of like the quick flashes shit that we get. Um, the anime is also really dark. Like, they haven't... Uh, they have, like, a... Like actually dark, not like dark thematically, but like yeah, like they like they didn't put see. like any any li- yeah they didn't put any light into like any of the scenes yeah, um, which is kind of weird because like all it kind of doesn't fit Devil May Cry at all for for the anime as a total like f- and I've seen the whole thing but uh, Dante is kind of like a jackass he's cheeky you know whatever but he but it, not in a funny way there, there's not any of that He's just in an this ass. at all. Like, um, I was expecting it to be the Dante that I am more familiar with. That's a little, like, childish, a little cheeky, a little funny, who's light and not just dark and dramatic the whole time. It's so boring. Yeah. Like, I was expecting, like, a half-decent pun or two, at least. Well, it also we so the it starts out with him like with a job to protect this ten year old girl. I think she's ten, right? Yeah, I don't know. How she says she is. that's what she said at the beginning. Okay, so his his job is to basically keep her alive, um, and she's supposed to be some important person. Uh, her father like is missing, I guess. No, her father died, and he's leaving her the entirety of his. Oh, fortune. that's right. That's right. He died, and uh, she has to get to the mansion by a certain date otherwise she like forfeits the fortune so he's gotta like be her bodyguard and make sure that she gets there on time yeah i don't understand why okay so in the father's will says if she's not here a week from my death then the fortune is forfeit i guess yeah weird thing to put in your will yeah it's a weird plot for that first episode well, especially if you're... Uh, it also introduces the worst character in the world of Patty Lowell. Uh, she's awful. The little and girl. she stays there the whole season. Yep, he adopted her. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, weird tension between the two. Like, uh, I don't know. There's, like, a part where he's, the like, Japanese. You know, if you were 10 years older, I'd date you. I'd I feel slap like... that ass. It's I like, feel like there's some cultural stuff we're not interpreting right from what they say because it sounds really pedophile I would hope that that's us interpreting it incorrectly yeah not actually what's there but yeah um it would, would it be pedophilic and then later he goes on to say pedophilic. she's not a child <laughs> she's a young lady pedophilic <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah no yeah I think it would be pedophilic yeah pedophilic it's just kind of, I think pedophilic is the best one. Like, <laughs> pedophilic. Yeah, I just so don't weird. like. I, what was that? Like what does that yeah, word even mean? I just don't like the the sound of that. <laughs> I just don't like. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's it's uh, it gives off some really weird vibes, and yeah, like the anime is really boring. The a- the all the action scenes are like Cam Cam said, super zoomed up. 
Yeah, yeah. So you don't really see any like actual fights. Um, uh, jumping ahead to the second episode real quick, like even with the big fight of that, like there's a there's like a race. He's got a he's got a race against a demon, and like he beats the demon, and then he like just stabs it, and then all you see are the results. Like you see him being stabbed, and then you see Lady like shoot him with the rocket, and then it's over. Yeah. Like, it's literally just, like, two seconds of a fight. It's, like, nothing. Yeah, it's just, like, you know, if you're to be a dark animated about a demon hunter, just ha- have the fights with the demons in it. Yeah, and like, it, all he does have is, the like, action shoot, people come for. He just shoots the demons, and then all it shows is, like, the results okay, of going, shooting Going back the to, to before, when he's trying to, you know, the first episode, so he's, he's given charge of... That one character, um, Patty Lowell. Patty Lowell, and he has to get her back to the mansion by in time, in order to save the fortune. So Dante is taking her back, and he find you know through you know of course demons are after her for whatever reason they want her dead. They, they work for the the one brother you find out because he's like a demon apparently. But why does he want? Like, I don't understand. He wants make the sense. fortune for himself. Why does so he want like, the fortune? Well, because, I mean, he, he's greedy, I guess. All right, whatever. He's living as a human, and he wants all the human money. I guess the one the one demon, weird dude, uh, explained it, saying that they're all fighting for power in hell or something like that. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, like, there's a like four lords in hell struggle. that are, like, fighting for the top dog spot. Right, whatever. So... Anyways, but, um, so he's taking her back. Demons are trying to kill her on the way back. Um, he kills one demon as he's driving up there. Then they get to the hotel or whatever. And that's where we meet that one other demon we were just talking about. The one who explains everything. And he's kind of a weird guy with like his cross. He's like, so cross like, you guys are cross. He looks like so a was, frog who's on meth. Yeah. That's a good, good way to describe it. Anyways, she gets lured into an opera house where, I, where apparently the singer looks exactly like her mom, enough for her to go, Mom, and jump up, up onto the stage and hug her. Yeah. And then the camera pans up and really zooms in on this, this fucked up demon looking face and saying, Now your mom will kill you. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's super weird. And then, There's of course, that Dante. Scene on the train where, like, oh, everything that happened goes, first? That goes, yeah. The, I thought uh, the train happened later. But anyways, I guess they take a train and they're riding the train and it's this really creepy dude walks up as they're riding the train. So Dante acts as completely disinterested in everything that goes on around him. That's just his default thing. Like anything that's happening around him, even paying attention to his ward, acts completely disinterested. Doesn't care about a fuck of what, you know, of what's going on. And then... She's looking out the window and trying to talk to him, and he's just, you know, giving her non-answers and stuff. And this one random creepy dude goes, hey, you're cute. Can I come sit by you? And you're like, weird. Yeah, everybody's yeah. a pedophile and on this show. Like, hey, is this your kid? It's so you're like, it's, his a, lips, like. It's, so, it's so you're really <laughs> expecting him to be the demon, right? To pop out. And that's what you think is going to happen, right? No, he's just, he's a he's normal like, guy. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you shouldn't <laughs> sit there. You're going to fucking die. He's like, he's like, you know, I guess you and can sit get, there, but you'll die in 10 seconds. And it gets, gets fucking yeah, dark. And, and you see splashes because he goes through murdered, the tunnel. And then no, it you goes, go through the tunnel. So the whole fight, you don't see it. Yeah, so he gets fucking murdered. You can't and then, see. Yeah, you can't look. And everybody's yeah. freaking out, and then they can't go through a yet. tunnel again. And, and it then, turns out there was a demon on the train that somehow killed him. We don't know, because we didn't see it at the audience. Yeah, the, it goes and then dark. Dante it goes shoots dark the again, fucking shit out of it. And Dante kills it, so you don't actually see Dante fucking killing it, either. Yeah. And then, anyways, it, everyone like you know, everyone crowds around the one. Oh, this dude's dead. The dude really was a normal dude who was really fucking creepy and wanted to sit next to a 10 year old girl in an, in, on an empty train yep it's fucking weird and so then they get to the hotel weird thing there and then you know he wakes up I guess and the, she's gone in the opera house where you have that scene I also scene love with her. how like nobody is uh is like weirded out by him just shooting the shit out of stuff yeah, just they, fucking, they've, they've, he just has a, a, a attachment I'm not to exactly his gun. sure where he is. I think he might be in America. I'm not sure where Devil May Cry is supposed to have taken place, but uh, 
Yeah. Uh, he he just has his two fucking guns, which he shoots all the time, and no one is weirded out by that. Yeah. So we we so eventually you find out that this... they don't even question when he shoots like the dead body, like when he's surrounded by people that are just fine with it. That's true. That is weird. Even for like our standards here, <laughs> like it's extremely weird weapons. to discharge a weapon inside a public area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's also I've... illegal. After he's done uh, with that, like then, he, and he saves the the girl from her mom demon. Uh, yeah, it remember, there's out, that whole fight there, and Dante always arrives just in fucking time. Of course, like, he right does. as they, right Dante. as she's about to be sliced up, that's when he makes his entrance. Yeah, and he he arrives and he finds out that the real heir to the fortune that we have talked about, she. That's, yeah, that's so, at the end of that episode. Yeah, so yeah. like at the end so, of that but episode. The, I just wanted to mention that fight, though, when he's fighting it. Like, again, it zooms up super close. I can't see the action. But then it goes, this isn't something for a child to see. And it yeah, drops a fucking is, drape. This is so, an adult-only so show. See, you see fucking just the bare minimum of the fight going on. It's like, are they trying as hard as they can to not have to animate the fights? <laughs> and like, It's like they go out of their fucking way to not have to really fucking animate what's going on yeah it's yeah. it's like it's a live action show where they don't have enough budget to do anything so they're trying to do like hide it as much as they can and they really do fucking hide it then the creepy meth demon shows up and goes i have to kill you little girl now and then dante doesn't kill him why doesn't dante kill this this demon like, why is he the one? Because he's important to the plot of the overall story, Does which Dante doesn't exist know that? until the last two episodes. Does Dante know that? No. That he's important in some way? Yeah, there's no, no but way. It doesn't he, make sense that Dante doesn't him, kill him. He sees him like every other episode, though. Does it make sense that Dante doesn't he kill him? He just keeps showing up somehow. And that he like, he and shoots he just, at like, him keeps, and just grazes him. He just him. keeps not killing him for okay, some Okay, anyways, reason. that thing happens, and then they sh- then... They don't show up to the mansion in time. The real and Emily Lowell or whatever her name is shows Patty, up. Patty. Yeah. Patty Lowell. Patty. Patty Lowell. And then Patty she Lowell. shows up and goes, hey, I'm Patty. And he's like, oh, no, everyone knows Patty's a... T- okay, no one knows what Patty really looks like. It just takes one woman walking up going, hey, I'm Patty. Is my yeah, ID I, enough? I found, I found a is little girl who, who in, has the same name as me. So I used God, her as it's so, bait. It's so and it's thin. like, this is supposed to be it's her so, family. It's so thin, the, her the evidence. Her uncles are fighting over the fortune line. Yeah, and she's not, she's, she's not a... And like, the uncles didn't know how old she was, and they didn't know what she looked like. Maybe they're pedos, too, and they just remember her 10-year-old self, and they just figure that it's just... And anyways, so it's like, all it took is one random years. woman walking and saying, hey, I'm Patty, and can you, you want to look at my driver's license? Yeah, it'll show that that's your name. It will show that you're related to us. Um, and then they're like, no, it's too late. It's and then he's like, it's too late. She's like, technically, he died. It's said in a week. He hasn't, has it been a week since he's died until 628? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Technically. Uh, and then he's like, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because no one's going to know who you are. Yeah, and he turns, turns into, into a demon to a kill really her. big demon. Yeah. Uh, kills the other and, the other dudes. Yeah. And then guess who arrives goes just after in her. time before the woman dies? And then Dante's like, ha ha, Fuck you, and then he kills it, and then he's like, "Hey, I'm really disappointed in you for uh, for using this little girl as bait. You should give her money." <laughs> yeah, and he does, and she does. <laughs> yeah, she pays her, and then uh, and then the little girl goes to stay with Dante for some fuck off reason. Yeah, why? It never actually why? says why. Who why? is this little girl? Yeah, like is she some like why? actor why? that now doesn't have a family other than Dante? Like, I mean, she said apparently? she had she was she was founded an orphanage. Yeah, she was, and for some reason they just they just like don't find her family, oh, don't take true, her back yeah. to the orphanage, and it just leaves her with this one disinterested, you know, indebted <laughs> fuckface of a man. Yeah, he he's not fit to uh to take care of children at all. Um and Lady sees no problem with it. In well the, Lady's uh, just Lady's just a female version of Dante. No, Lady is fucking awesome. All right. Lady is awesome. Yeah, in this series, and she's introduced by like giving Dante a mission for the second episode, right? Yeah. So she comes in. She's like, "Hey, I got a job for you," and he's like, "No, I don't want to take it because all your jobs are shit." Uh, which was kind of funny. She's like, "I'll suck your dick at the end of this one." And he's <laughs> just like, "Accepted." And then, sadly, she, that didn't happen. She makes him bet uh, that if uh, she can land the eight ball 
uh, then he has to take the job, and then he bets, and then she sinks the eight ball in the pool table, and so he has to go and race some fucking bikers, uh, which because there's like a demon that's been on the roads, like killing people. Who only shows up if you reach a certain speed, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. he has a he has to race this other guy to make him show up. Then he shows up. Dante beats the guy in a race, then stabs him with his sword. Because Lady catches up fucking immediately somehow and then just tosses him his yeah, sword. Yeah, it does the whole fucking, catches. like, he's doing, like, the super speed type of thing with, like, the like the speed lines and everything. And, like, he's breaking the sound barrier kind of lines. Yeah, yeah. He, it's he, like, he goes, no, it's, he goes so fast. Like, like, it's like he's going so fast that the fucking speedometer glass breaks. Yeah. I don't know why he, that would break. He goes fucking fast. He goes know? fast that random pieces of glass break on his hell, bike. Hell yeah, dude. He's able to, like, he doesn't break the sound barrier he breaks no. the light barrier yeah. <laughs> it breaks he breaks the glass barrier can't even see it so yeah then he stabs this uh this demon and then while he's like holding it back you see some confusion of what's going on and then all of a sudden the demon's on the ground and yeah. I, I guess he was sliding across so, the ground on his bike while holding it back mm, i don't remember he, anyway he was like holding the demon back by stabbing it and then Lady shows up, jumps over it, shoots it with her fucking rocket, then lands on, like, another bike. Hmm. It's fucking crazy. And yeah, then, and yeah. it's like this, it, the, the job was sent out by this dude whose brother, like, went missing or something, right? No, now. the job was by, like, the highway The pa- highway patrol. patrol. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wasn't there someone that was missing because, like, he found yeah, his it, dead it brother? Yeah, uh, it was that biker gang, his, like, it, it's the like, leader's brother. So, like, so it's like, how you did they just leave bodies no. on the fucking roads out <laughs> the, here? No, so, like, like, the, no the he, demon, thought, he thought the demon was his brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the demon okay. had, like, a human person on there. So, he knew his brother was dead, though, didn't he? So Lady got a job from uh, the highway he said he went patrolman. Missing, I think is what it was. Oh, okay. So Lady got the job from the highway patrolman. Lied to Dante, saying what the job was about it was about clearing out that biker gang. I don't know why she felt like she had to lie to him about that. But anyways, Dante's like, ah, I don't uh, know, he stupid. won't fight humans, right? And she knew there was like a demon there or something. But and she so she knew how to get the demon to come out, which was her real job. And so she had Dante race the human to get the demon to come out, and then they fought the demon. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then they kill him, and then yeah. uh, the really the the and shitty. Then, oh god! Oh, what were we gonna say? I was gonna say it's shitty because every time he gets money, it just goes to pay off. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, so he, people he's supposed to have gotten him. paid. Oh, and but then she okay, says, "Oh yeah, you destroyed the, the you destroyed, you destroyed the, bridge. the bridge, so uh, you, you, they're gonna bill you for that, and also all the money we made, I'm taking because you owe me money." And he's like, "Fuck you!" And then. Uh, she just kind of like walks away. So yeah. Well, it was on a phone call. She told him that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The phone call. So Dante's horrible with money. Who knows how much debt he's in to the various places? And for some reason, no one really wants to pay him for hunting demons. <sighs> yeah. And so no wonder he's a, he's a, a depressed shit lord who eats pizza. Yeah, no one's gonna. We, it's funny because we ate pizza while we were watching it. Yeah, we did. That's true. Yeah, and it was a very mediocre pizza. Very extreme. But mediocre. yeah, like the action is uh, pretty lackluster. Like really, the only thing action wise that happened was when fucking lady jumped over the demon, shot it with her. I just don't under, it's, it, there must be a budget launcher. thing. They must not want to animate fights. Do you know if the fights get better as the season goes on? I do know there's at least like one fight, but it's like at the end. It's, they're saving their budget for the one yeah, fight. They're saving their budget for when the uh, the frog on meth uh, becomes the ultimate demon. How many Lord. seasons are there of this? There's only one. There's it only makes one a lot season. of sense. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it's just really poor because like there's no overarching story. Like it's just with that like one guy. Um, you kind of see like some things start to connect like by the end of the fucking like series, but it's it's just really dumb because like it's all very passive until then. Yeah, it's just kind of boring. Um, the animation's not anything special. The voice acting is kind of whatever. I Japanese. feel like they added Patty Lowell in there to like have a another character for him to like bounce off of, but there's no reason for that because he has his manager guy, and then he has both Trish and uh, Lady. That they could have used 
So it, it just doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, after he fulfills her mission. Plus, like, the whole thing of what's going on in this doesn't even make any sense, because, like, they could have just made it about Dante and Virgil. But I guess this is supposed to, like, take place between, I think it was, like, two and four or something. I can't remember. Okay what it was but yeah it's just uh i don't know so the canon is two four three well it's three one two four five. Oh, which is weird because for a long time a lot of people thought that it was one or three one four two five but they were like, no, actually, two happens before four, which oh. doesn't make any sense. Because at the end of two, Dante goes riding into hell, and it's just assumed that he doesn't like come back out. Hmm. Well, I mean, games have a, a history of fucking with their canon. I mean, like the Prince of Persia game, like the second one, chick dies at the end, like you kill her. And then the third one, she's like a really passive passenger with you right at the beginning of the game. She's like hanging out with you, and I'm like... Would you use the sands of time to like take it back? And, like say no, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just kidding. You'll be okay. <laughs> well, it's because like uh, the order of the the demon or whatever for like the the church that worships Sparta is like a prominent thing in both two and four, and it get, basically gets destroyed in four. So it was kind of like expected that in two it came back got it for for like the story but they're like actually no that's where it was just introduced Hmm. so he like went to hell for some reason and then just randomly came back so it kind of just doesn't make any sense yeah i don't know i don't i don't hate it it's one thing i don't like about devil may cry i mean i love it but at the same time the whole series like they don't have like a story the story is literally just Dante and Virgil fighting each other. That's it. Yeah. It's not super captivating, per se. Yeah. And this show is just like that. It's just kind of boring. And it doesn't even have that element of him having a rivalry with anybody. It's literally just boring days where he takes on like a job that he finishes in like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just the build-up to where he kills the demon and then like the little afterward. It hit, there's there's no struggle, there's no arcing story. He's just like, yeah, I'll kill it in like two seconds. It's fine. Yeah, it's kind of lame. And then the action um, is always like obscured. So yeah, I don't know it, why. Yeah, like that so w- uh, even if you wanted to like it because of the action, you can't because there is none. Yeah, so. it's kind of it's so weird. It's, it's kind bizarre. It's honestly anything. really bland because of that. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's just the first two episodes. We have. What'd you say? It was like 12 episodes long yeah, or something. So there's 10 more to so go. So we have 10 more. Next time we talk about it, we'll finish up the series and kind of just discuss it as a whole and see, may, you know, maybe it does get better. Maybe you're two and a half, second and a half time through, <laughs> you'll like it more. I don't know. Um, it's definitely not up to the par of Castlevania, which is an exceptionally good show. Yeah, it for is. what it is. Um, uh, I, I really hope that guy does a, a, a good job with the reboot. <laughs> Although yeah. I've been, I, I I looked it up uh, after we watched those two episodes, and according to some sites, uh, there's going to be a shared universe between Castlevania and Devil May Cry, and possibly whatever other shows that he ends up doing. Hmm, I don't know about that. Which but... is very weird, but at the same time, they kind of could overlap, because they're similar thematically, where... Because uh, Castlevania has demons as well as vampires. Yeah. And Dante focuses mainly on demons and hell, so... I just hope they don't do any crossover, so... Uh, it kind of... If they're going to have a shared universe, that's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. But they couldn't possibly cross over until, like, really late into Castlevania. Like, really late. Unless Castlevania they, never gets into modern times. Yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah, it does. God damn. Yeah. There's uh there's even some future ones like for instance Aria of Sorrow takes place in like 2035. 
Uh, Dante, they're heading over to the Belmont's place. Yeah. Well, the character of uh, Ari of Sorrow isn't a Belmont. It's uh, Soma Cruz. And he. A Summer Cruz? Soma Cruz. Oh. And I could spoil the game, but I won't. Use Summer Cruise to uh, the Philippines. Get some balut. No, he's he's Japanese. Oh, okay. So who is Dracula in the future Castlevania? Is it still Dracula? I could answer that, but I'm not going to. It's Donald Trump. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to get great bread. That's actually the plot of Aria of Sorrow. Who Dracula is? Yeah. Because he's supposed to be, like, reborn in 2035. Oh, okay. Who's who's supposed to be born in 2035? Dracula. I mean, yeah, but who else? Or he's, oh. Dracula is supposed to rise again in 2035. It's a Game Boy Advance game? Fuck yeah, and it's fucking awesome. It's a fantastic game. Cameron, this is very turned off. I mean, I did play a lot of the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Well... I don't know. It's just kind of subpar. Yeah. I think it'd be cool. One thing I think we should do is like review gaming documentaries too. Maybe do something. Yeah. Of that. Like uh, Raising Kratos, I think it'd be a cool Raising one. Raising Kratos. There's another one that's uh, about. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's about uh, For Honor that's on Netflix. And then. Yeah, is it called How I Couldn't Get Past the Tutorial? No, I don't think it is. Oh, okay. I think is it's it, called. Uh, I think it's called Play Hard or something like that. Is it that. the world's greatest warrior? No, I don't show? think it's that one either. Oh, that's too bad. That was sweet. I loved that. Uh, the one against like ISIS and the fucking uh, dude. Some of those pissed me off. The IRA it was fucking awesome. Oh, man, this. Is... Well, yeah, some of them. It's like, what about this tank? What about Abrams? An Abrams M1 <laughs> tank against Genghis Khan, and it's like, <laughs> no, the fuck. It was we read a like, million computer scenarios. Oh, sorry, Cameron. It, it was more like a, <laughs> and we realized yeah. Genghis Khan would actually lose to the M1 tank. It's like, oh, these guys. They just every time, like they were like, oh, well, they just kind of pulled this out of their ass because they're they're what they what they did was like they ran they put in certain s- statistics or whatever into the into their program and then ran it like 20 times and like who would win oh it was, it was thousands and they they did it by like or, experts. yeah or like a hundred times or whatever yeah experts and then they on have the, experts come in and be like this is what would happen and, and they would do like force they would hit these yeah they do force and tests and, and then it, it was just really dumb because some of them were like really close and they're like oh yeah these guys won because they pulled this out of their ass <sighs> yeah that was a cool idea for a show, though. I just like the cheesy ass videos at the end, yeah. especially the one where the like the one guy suicide bombs and the, the IRA well, yeah, the, guy that, jumps that's through the it, bus window. I that, was like, that's, that's the thing sweet. that always pisses me off is that little video at the end because it's like, okay, so I can I can take this guy barely beating these guys, but then the like the video always makes it something stupid like. Oh, oh! These guys forgot that they had placed a landmine, and then they stepped on their own one, or something like that, like something fucking stupid in the little video. And I was like, "God damn it! That's so like that's that's how they'd win, really." It's because like, those guys they, were too they randomly stupid. or or this like Roman guy randomly found his fucking spear that he chucked at the very beginning in his little two minute video. And he picks it up and he like stabs the guy at the last second. Because he was getting his ass handed to him before that because he got the spear and now he's going to win. Well, we know that's true because of Nordheimer 3 and <laughs> fucking, Conan Exiles. Nordheimer 3, dude. That's so bullshit. Coming for your asshole. That's her, that's yeah. her motto. Okay, you know what? I have fucking like 300 health, all right? That spear does like 33 damage, all right? I have 47% damage reduction because of the armor that I have. There's no fucking way that thing should like chunk my health by a third in all three of her attacks. That is that just shouldn't be possible. Yeah, yeah. You were almost choking with rage there. Yeah. It's because it's bullshit, dude. You ever encounter a fucking fighter three? You just get like fucking chunked by every attack. Like if you get hit by her like fucking six times, you're fucking dead. Her spear shouldn't be doing that much damage to me. I know exactly how much damage that spear does. Apparently you don't. I do, though. I know exactly how much it does. 
Coward. Even with even with enhanced damage of like her fucking having bonus strength, it shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah. All right, I have fucking three hundred health. I have forty seven percent damage reduction. I should be taking half of what I do because it means that she could two shot me if I didn't have that fucking armor on. That is true. Some fucking horse shit. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. I I don't really have anything else to say about the first two episodes of this bad boy. Um, We'll have to see how it turns out. I mean, hopefully the narrative gets a little more interesting, but I don't know. Hopefully. I have my doubts. (laughs) Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not, it's not great. Um, Patty Lowell is a really annoying character and she takes up most of that first episode second episode is kind of cool with lady in it but that's pretty much the only reason and then it's just a very lackluster nothing really to entertain uh because especially since like the fights are always obscured so there's nothing to like visually hold on to um so yeah yeah well fuck i don't know you guys got anything else you want to talk about um no, I'm going to really dedicate my time to Sekiro this week. Um, have that review ready to go um, by next time. All right, Sweet. I'm excited to do it. Yep. Excited to get this going. Um, we will uh, plan on that. I really want to have it done. I, I kind of want to run through the game again mm-hmm. if I can. I don't know. I, there's some bosses that I truly suck at, and I don't know if I can do the the proper uh, the proper fucking style of attack to like because I, I on, on a couple of the bosses I, I got lucky i feel like and i don't yeah. know if i can recreate that in a speedy manner i know some of the bosses like i've once you get good at the game you get really good at the parrying and the countering and like you can bring them down pretty fast those guys i can probably do but the ones that like the ape and then a couple of the other big fights well, you keep the amount of damage that you have and i can't imagine that uh, they increase a lot um, the second time around. Plus, you keep all your prosthetics and upgrades. So I feel like taking down Lady Butterfly and those other guys would be really easy. Yeah. Especially yeah. since like their stance can't really change that much. So if you parry the shit out of them and then still have as much damage as you do and then in- increase it further... Just from like having the like getting bonus damage from killing them. Yeah, that's I mean, true. Plus, I mean, if you, you can, find that mask stuff, uh, yeah, you can have like unlimited damage if you do that. Basically, yeah, if it you just keep, keeps if going you, especially up. since if you like max yourself out with all the points, then your next time around you just spend all your points that you gain uh, on like leveling up your strength from the, getting all three pieces of the mask. Yeah, you just like fuck everything yeah, it's plus, plus I think you'll have the bonus abilities from killing the headless you definitely try for a different ending but yeah I think I would yeah I'd probably go for the fastest ending the Shura ending yeah or whatever is there a secret ending well, that's like not f- with the pieces of mask uh, I, I don't know if the mask is even tied yeah, to it yeah I don't it. think the mask is I thought, no, that I thought that the be. mask was it cause that was my, if the you mask. get the three pieces of the mask all it does is like let you spend five uh, skill points for upgrading uh, your attack by one yeah I so thought if you the have mask... nothing else to spend it on you can just keep increasing your attack yeah I thought it was going to be something like Bloodborne with the should pieces. I go for the mask I don't know it's kind of pricey I, I, I didn't get it I got, I chose I chose What is the best doing exactly? I only know where two of the pieces are. You can trade in your level up points, your like If you have five skill points, the stuff that you'd spend it on your like uh upgrades. Right. Then you if you have five of them, you can trade it in for one attack power. Like um what a memory. So basically would do? every yeah, five yeah. Would do. So basically every five levels you get a memory, essentially. You would do some sick damage. Some six stance damage. Dude, but. I've seen videos of people having 99 attack. It's pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> I bet it is, yeah. So go find the pieces of the mask and just fucking grind the shit out of that? I mean, you could, you could if yeah. you don't want to upgrade anything else. In 99 attack, um, that you can't get to one-shot levels, can you? 
Maybe you could on the first time around. I wonder if they lock um, one of the pieces of the mask behind uh, New Game Plus. No. They don't. You can I had it, two of the you three. You can get it I, in, the, in the, your first playthrough. I chose to not buy the third because I chose to buy really good crafting First one that I know instead. of is uh, in, the money the, is just in the Harada stuff Estate. Stuff you can collect. If you have seven of the, uh, the carp scales, you can buy the mask. Then there's another merchant guy... Who can sell it to you for like two thousand? And I can't remember where the last one is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You'd though. have to look it up. So I would recommend doing that. Yeah, I would check it out if you want to. I, I thought it was too pricey for what it is, but I was but, also. Late I mean, game. if you have nothing the else to spend it for on, ultimate attack power. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. I feel like the, you can just get better at it, and you don't need the. Oh, that you does could make get it better faster and get stronger. That's true. You can get gooder. Ooh get gooder i'm all about getting good in the way that makes the game easier when it shouldn't be that's right all right well you guys got anything else you want to add this week Uh, no nope that's it all right well thanks for hanging out and let's do some hog league welcome ladies and gentlemen to hog league week nine this is a great week wonderful week matchups were schweiss's schwetmeisters against matunica's heroes the deuce of death against the romagers rompers Abrat cracks the whip against Chase's place that doesn't count against A4 last place. Step motherfuckers against the most offensives. The victory, the victors. First up, Matunica's heroes three fifty four to my Sweatmeister's eighty six. Top hero Porcupine Racer. Top Shredmeister Fundamop. The Dukes of Death barely take out Romager's Rompers. Closest match here. Uh, five ninety eight to five seventeen. Top Duke of Death Black Mage Justin. Top. Uh, Romager's Romper, Felicia Nomiko. Abrat cracks his whip and it hits, it, it strikes home. 305 to 132. The top whip is R. DiGiorgio. The top chase is Chase again. That doesn't count. It's fall to A for last place. 436 to 155. Top A4, Arrow Beard. Top doesn't count. Jacob, step motherfuckers, take out the most offensives. 393 to 266. Top step motherfucker, Irat. Top most offensive player by nature. The standings for this week, um, overall standings for the season, we have... Um, well, let me see. Let me see. Where the hell is this? Why is it... Ugh. Sorry, guys. I didn't turn to the side. So, a three-way tie for first place between Step Motherfuckers, Matunica's Heroes, and the Dukes of Death with 6-1. and one. A4 in fourth place, 5-2. and 4-3 and three for the Whips. Most offensives, 3-4. and four. Two-way tie between the Sweatmeisters, and that doesn't count, at 2-5. and five. Chase Place, 1-6. and six. And DROM, 0-7. Oh Big old goose egg there. This week's matchup, guys, the Step Motherfuckers against Matunica's Heroes. The Schweiss's Sweatmeisters against Romager's Rompers. The Dukes of Death against Chase Space. A for last place against the most offensives. The Dozen Counts against Abrat Cracks the Whip. Guys, get on. Log your hog. It's getting close to the end of the year. Let's finish it strong, and we will see you guys again. Oh, man. Yes, we will see you guys again in about one week's time. Until then, though, as always, live always in the nude.